Our buddy, Jory Epstein, from the uh, USA Today, she had a, a little sit-down with the quarterback, Dak Prescott. Oh. Mm-hmm. Jory gets a lot of stories, by the way. She does. If you're following along with Jory from the USA Today, she has got the direct line to Dak Prescott. Scoops, Jory. Scoops. She's got a lot of scoops. and But she sat down with the quarterback, and the title of her story was, Dak Prescott hopes the Cowboys will value his opinion on personnel decisions. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. Okay, now, as we go through this, as we go through this, you know, uh, Jory asked him about that. Jory, you know, Jory was, you know, saying, hey, you know, I'm I'm being such on a, such a lucrative deal. Does it impact the mindset of the offseason? And Dak's response said was, I didn't think about it until you said it. <laughs> oh, he decided right that moment. Like, yes, actually, thank you for reminding me. I would really like to have a lot of say. Yeah, and he, and he went on to say, but it just allows you to be fresh and be certain on everything and know obviously you're here. There's no questions. You can help the team make decisions. And Prescott you know, added on whether or not he has say on who stays or who goes when the uh, new NFL year opens next month, he says, it depends on whether they ask me, bef- uh, whether they ask me beforehand. And he says, I'm not going to, I'm not going in knocking on any doors and saying, Hey, I want this done. I want that done. But I'm pretty sure that my opinion will be valued in certain decisions as I hope. So with that being said, I just plan on helping this team get better in every way I can. All right, this leads me to the the next thing here. Should the Cowboys value Dak Prescott's decision or should Dak Prescott in the offseason step in and say, "Hey, we need to keep Amari Cooper. We need to keep uh we need to keep uh, Dalton Schultz. We need to keep, you know. Yeah. Do you feel like that Dak Prescott should be allowed to be there's, that uh, guy. There's two different kinds of input that you get from your quarterback. One is ultimatums. If you don't do all of this, I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he's good enough. Like, that's Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, maybe Russell Wilson, Aaron Donald territory. Like, I'm going to leave if you don't do all of this. And for, like, no doubt Hall of Famers and GOATs, I think you you do that kind of thing, especially later on in a career for that guy before he retires. Um, Dak, I think, is in a position where he has input. I want to hear his vote especially on corners that he's competed against, wide receivers that he's thrown to. I'm not going to make any decision about my own offense without asking him for sure what what his perspective is on on those things. But I don't want like big philosophical sweeping decisions and ultimatums from a, from a player that I'm not even sure is a pro bowler right now. Uh, yeah, I think if you are the franchise quarterback, then... Like, what I wouldn't want is the Troy Aikman thing where it's like, hey, let me tell you who to draft. Like, nah, I'm good there. But if you're talking about guys that you've already played with this year and Mm -hmm. we have decisions to make on them and they were either blocking for you or you were throwing to them and you're in the locker room with them and you know the personalities, yeah. Yeah, I want to know. I want Dak Prescott's opinion on Amari Cooper. Like, hey, we've got – this is what we got to do. This is what the cap looks like. So we're thinking about – and I want Dak's opinion on – do you want him here for the next two or three years or not at all? And we could get you a, yeah, I want to know, especially on O-line and receivers. As fans, would you like to know that they're valuing Dak's opinion and asking him of his opinion? If yeah. you were a fan, would you be like, you know, is that is that some, is that more scrutiny for Dak if things don't work out? You know, if like, you know, is does it become, ah, oh, just worry about quarterback and the damn team. You know, stop trying to be personnel guy, quarterback guy. Just pick one and be good at that. Do you think that's the No, I think as long as you communicate well, like it's not like a player who, like for instance, Aaron Rodgers this offseason basically demanded, go get me Randall Cobb. Right. Randall Cobb couldn't play anymore, basically. He could not. So even in a playoff game where all he had is Devontae Adams, like Randall Cobb is blanketed by any corner in the league, basically, and he can't get him the ball. But you demanded that. So... If you do things like that because you are angling to keep a guy because he's your buddy and you like him, then you lose that privilege. But as long as you are just giving me your unfiltered view of what do you think of these players? What do you think of 
you know, how he fits. Are you good with this guy in the huddle? How did you feel about how that guy blocked for you? Uh, those things, I, I want my quarterback to have input absolutely positively. So as yeah. a fan, you're until you okay. lose it. Yeah. Until as a you fan, you're it. okay with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, without knowing like what decisions he championed and how they yeah. went to what Jeff's saying right there, if you mess up bad, then I I will t- want the team to not. But right now, I, I want the 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 player to feel like I have an, uh, a vested interest in how this team is built. I, I want to know my input is being listened to because I think that's going to get a more ev- involved and energized player. You know, but if you're saying, "Hey, uh, I was drafted. I came into this uh, league with Zeke. That's my right hand man, and I feel better with him beside me." Don't put in Tony Pollard. If Dak's doing that, then I want the team to probably stop listening to him for a while. You know, we just we just don't know what what that advice has been up to this point. So without knowing, I want a harmonious relationship between the quarterback and everybody else because the longer they stay happy together, I think the more success you're going to have as a team. Are you guys okay with like CD Lamb coming out campaigning for Amari Cooper, or should it be uh, just the quarterback? I think anybody can do it. It's a matter of what do you do with it. Like, sure, if you have an opinion that you want to share with somebody in the organization, that's fine. Yeah. But I don't. I'm not going to use it for much. Yeah, like you know, I, I don't think CD's or or Amari's performance is dependent upon one another like it is with a quarterback. I, I don't know that the other wide receiver has as good of a perspective of your strengths and weaknesses and how it all comes together as the quarterback. I'll listen, you know. I I don't want to shun any player, you know. We have open doors. Let's talk about this kind of stuff. But well, some you need a key card to get in. <laughs> some have well access played. to everywhere. That's true. <laughs> but you know, the thing about I just remember going back to you talk about Aikman and picking players and stuff like that with David Lafleur. Yeah, you, know, you gotta, don't get to pick players. Yeah, they went not out, in they, the draft because you haven't seen them play yet. But if you've played with somebody, yeah. I'm interested in your perspective on them. Yeah, that that happened with David Floor. They they got on an airplane and flew and worked out all these tight ends, and he basically handpicked David Lafleur, yeah. who really wasn't all that great of a player. Coaches aren't scouts. Players aren't scouts. That's right. You know, that's the thing. I don't call a third down defense. I just try and find you players to get off the field on that third down defense. That's all I. Yeah. Do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd love to get CD's take on opposing corners if one's up in free agency. Mm-hmm. You sure. know, tell me how how tough is that? You know, yeah. what? Let's go watch film together and and you talk to me about his value and how much you could help our team. Tell me which one you hate the most at the free agent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's who we're getting. <laughs>